Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts, and I'm really excited to be doing this video. And the reason why is that in front of me here in a few pieces is a Windows Phone 7. Now I want to point out right off the bat, this is prototype hardware. So this is not, I repeat, not the final shipping hardware. This is just simply a prototype device that Microsoft used for testing. So while the software I'm going to be showing you is in fact final, that's, what's, that, that's what you're going to be getting uh, on the phone, the hardware is not. Um, so here's the hardware. This is uh, an LG prototype device that has a slide out keyboard, but again, this is prototype hardware. LG has a phone that's uh, very similar to this one. Um, depending on where you are in the world, it goes under a few different names, but the basic design is there. Uh, I wanted to show you that it does in fact have a SIM card, so this is a, a GSM uh, version of the phone. Uh, CDMA versions of Windows Phone 7 devices are gonna be coming out uh, in 2011. They're actually not gonna be out quite uh, when these ones are out. Um, and as you can tell, this actually says MS Equipment, so this is just simply a loaner phone uh, that Microsoft sent to me for about a week or so just to check out the new operating system. So I'm, I'm gonna put the battery in, and we'll, uh, we'll power it up, and then you can see the initial setup experience. And there's one thing I'll say, uh, it is really unlike any other Windows Mobile experience that I've ever had before. This really, truly is a brand new operating system. It's Windows Phone 7, but it's more like Windows Phone 1.0. There's some things that are missing, there's some things that still need to be added before it's sort of a complete uh, platform, but in terms of the actual uh, product itself, uh, there's a lot of really interesting things. Um, I will also point out that I just did a hard reset on this phone so as you can tell it's uh, it's asking you know it's telling me you know hey let's get started so the boot up time and things like that you shouldn't um, consider that to be normal so uh, it's a touch screen phone so I'm gonna hit on get started uh, it's asking me to choose a language I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on English United States Windows form uh, Windows phone terms of use I'm gonna click accept uh, how would you like your Windows phone to be configured? I'm just going to go ahead with uh, recommended. Um, it's detected that mountain time is where I am, which is correct. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, to do a Windows Live ID, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say not now, but normally this is where you'd put in your Windows Live ID, and uh, the Windows Live ID is quite a, quite an important part of the process. Um, so, for instance, it's associated with um, uh, your Windows Live games, your Xbox profile, all of those other things. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and click done, and then uh, boom. That's basically it. That's it. That's it for the initial setup, and this is Windows Phone 7. So I've previously set up this phone. I used it for about two days just to kind of get a bit of a feel for it before shooting this video. And the one takeaway from this is, well, there's a few takeaways. The first is that this is a really fast phone, a really fast um, operating system. Um, there's a couple of things. Now, even though this is prototype hardware, there are certain things about this phone that all Windows Phone 7 devices will have. One of those things are the three buttons. All Windows Phone 7 devices will have these three buttons, every single one. One of them is simply a back button, one of them is the uh, start, which basically takes you back to the screen, and then one of them is search. So for instance, I'll just go ahead and demo the search. If I hit the search button, you'll see it'll load up uh, Bing. Now, this is the first time I've used it since doing the reset, so I'm gonna say allow to find my location. I'm gonna um, use the on-screen keyboard here, and, oops, I've already made a mistake. In my experience, the on-screen keyboard is actually quite good. Um, I need to get a bit more experience with it to see how it how it works kind of long-term, but yeah, it seems, seems to be quite good. Now, search, originally it does web, and then I can click over here to local, and uh, it says, were you looking for pizza? And I'm like, yeah. That's what I was looking for. And it'll actually go out and pull down um, information, you know, like map information. And in fact, Domino's Pizza is in fact quite close to where I live. And then I can go over here to uh, news and I can see news about pizza. That's kind of weird. And then back here, I'm back to web. Oh, telephone, I forgot to mute my phone. Hang on a second. All right, and we're back. And hey, my fault for not uh, muting my phone. Sorry about that. So as I said, um, the back button here allows you to go back to essentially wherever you were. This button here allows you to go back to the start screen. Now, over here, these are this is basically your app application menu. So this is where you get access to all of your apps 
and sort of functions on the phone, you know. So if you want to set an alarm, you go in here and you can say, yeah, you know, I want to set an alarm. Now, as you can tell, the interface is really, really different. And that, that's really the first big thing to kind of take away from Windows Phone 7 is that the interface is radically different from anything else on the market. Uh, you may love it, you may hate it, but the one thing that Microsoft really wanted to do, they did not want to come out with a, uh, you know, sort of an icon-based operating system like iPhone or kind of a widget operating system like Android. Most operating systems out there are basically just rows and rows of icons, and Microsoft wanted to do something a little bit different um, than, than previously. So I'm going to show you uh, the messaging app here. There's not really anything in here, but as you can tell, um, this is a message and then it, it's a threaded messaging application. So after you have a few messages, this is what it uh, looks like. This is the phone function. So this is basically your call history. I can uh, press this button here to bring up the uh, keypad. And so, yes, it does actually make phones. There's been a few jokes that uh, in a lot of the demos, they never actually showed it making a phone call, but it does make phone calls. Um, this is the people tab. Now, um, after I set up, see, you see how here it's actually prompting me to set up Facebook. So I'm actually gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna set up Facebook and then I'm also gonna add in my Windows Live ID and then we can see how the phone kind of populates that information and brings it down. So hold on for one second. 